today we're at Nicole's dorm and she's going to show us her room. It is now my channel. <laughs> yes. So you walk in and you get this little area. There's coat wrap. And then there's the washroom. So there's a washroom. So sink, soaps and everything you provide yourself. Shower. Shower. Uh, yeah, you get your own shower unless you're sharing a room with a roommate, which I am. They provide toilet paper for you. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah they come clean it every week. So there will be cleaning people coming in every week to clean your washroom, which is very nice. And then you have your room. I've already pretty much moved everything, so it's completely empty. But you get your closet. You get a whole closet. Yeah, get a whole closet with drawers. So you get a lot of space. You get your desk over here. And you also get more drawers. And then you get a double size bed. So some people find it very nice. And they provide a pillow as well, but I recommend you buy your own pillow too. You get a drawer down here. You have an AC and a heater that you can adjust by your, like yourself. There is a little balcony area, but it is locked, so you cannot jump off. Yeah, and there's wire and everything. So the view is just some um, some construction going on there. Nice. Uh, this is the table. You have your table, and then you have this on top. You can pin stuff at the back here. There are no lights, however, at the bottom, so you will have to install that yourself. And each room has a telephone that you will never use that's connected to the hotel. Nice. There's two tables, two closets, and two beds. Literally bubble tea. I don't know what color that is. <laughs> Food review. So we have ham. Wait, no, no. <laughs> we have omelet. Um, that's a clam chowder, and then this is the fish and chips. Yeah. Where is the I'm like study, study commons area. Studying at the 27th floor. There's a total of 27 floors. It's very high. <laughs> you can see the Toronto sign. It's right before the Toronto City Hall. Ocean. And the chairs are very wobbly. Yeah. So be ready. <laughs> be ready. <laughs> be ready <laughs> to fall. <laughs> These chairs. They have a laundry room at the lower level. Okay, so you use the laundry card for these machines. Okay, check out your piece. if she left something here. Which I hope I don't. <laughs> Nicole has done her mission here, so... She's no longer coming back. Oh, but what an experience. Interesting experience. Here is the entrance. And then people are getting picked up because 
they are they are moving so. Okay, so we are done her vlog and we're gonna show you around this area um yeah it's right beside um the eaton center which is super downtown and be ready to live here yeah if, if you, you are gonna come yeah <laughs> this is um ryerson university so it's right beside the university actually and right beside the mall as well so if you love shopping you can live here but you might see some sketch people we're almost at the what's it called the square the yeah. Times square not the times fake square. Times square <laughs> we it's right so here it's that. the so yeom dundas that. square and super duper crowded so yeah be careful be careful now we have returned we're gonna talk about some journal stuff so i will be asking her some questions and hopefully she'll be answering them okay so for your meal plan do you want to talk about like um what they have at the dining hall and like where you can spend your money yeah so for the meal plan you choose between four amounts <laughs> okay it goes from like least to most and I chose the second smallest, which was a bad choice because I have a lot of money. Or I did. I spent it all up. The meal plan is like you go to the dining hall and then they'll have like entrees and like a pan station where you put together your own meal. Not that good. Um, you can also buy bottled drinks or like Kit Kats. They have those like chocolate bars, ice cream, bags of chips. There's like a grill station where there's like burgers and fries, like fast food stuff. There's a grab and go where you can just, um, the name is like you grab it and you can pay <laughs> for it and go. Nice. It's like packaged food. Mm -hmm. That also depends on how it is. Some stuff are good, some stuff are eh. Um, yeah, so where, like, where can you spend your meal plan other than at Chester? So on campus, there are places you can spend it, like Sydney Smith, there's Second Cup where you can spend your money, and then Robarts Library, you can spend at the cafeteria and the Starbucks there, and then like at Medstat, you can spend it at some stores there too. So um, it's very flexible as to where you can spend it, because I know some colleges, you can't spend it everywhere and it's specific to your dining hall. But for Chestnut, your meal plan applies to pretty much um, a lot of places on campus. Mm -hmm. But make sure you do spend it because at the end of the year, if you have money left over, it just disappears. Yeah, so you don't get your money back. Yeah. So next question is, how do you um, find a roommate and do you have to have a roommate? Uh, yes. Well, for a first year, unless you have a medical condition or statement to Chestnut for some reason, you may or may not be getting a single room, but most likely you'll get a double room with a roommate because that's just how the first years are. I found my roommate through their star portal, so the website that UFT originally has for like all the dorm stuff that you need to do. You can make a profile on there, kind of write like a little description of like who you are and whatever. Add your Instagram, people reach out to you and DM you. Now, there's a lot of false alarms and it's not because of students most of the time, it's because the building is so old. So there's like some electrical stuff that like causes the fire alarm to go off. So that happens and for some reason, it always happens at night. From like, <laughs> from 9 or 10 or like 12 a.m., you get fire alarms and then you have to go out. So, yeah. if it snows, you go out. It rains, you go out. You don't have a choice. You have to go out. Hot water outages? That's not fun either. Yes, and <laughs> the toilet broke. That's the right. Yeah, you also get that. You the toilet, <laughs> toilet can get clogged. Yeah. No, funny story, I heard a dude talking in the dining hall, he was like, <laughs> yeah, the hot water was, there was no hot water, I was taking a shower, it was like a cold shower, wasn't good, fire alarm went off. <laughs> he had to get out and go um, outside. That's, that sounds very fun. Also, you do have to use the elevators, you cannot use the stairs because the stairs, once you open the door, triggers the fire alarm. That's probably why. The only thing about Chestnut is that the elevator takes very long, so yeah. Make sure you leave early if you want to be on time for classes. Yeah. 
So now that we lead to the location of Chestnut, where is Chestnut? Chestnut is on Chestnut Street. Yeah. <laughs> Very useful information. <laughs> it's um, like Chestnut and Dundas. So there's a lot of restaurants around there, but you will not be eating out all the time because you have to spend your meal plan. Meal plan is necessary, so you can't escape that if you go. And Eaton Center is nearby, so you can go there to buy whatever you need for your school most of the time. City Hall is close to there too. There's also like a Cineplex. Not that you can go watching a movie if you're gonna be studying, but yeah. yeah. But it is kind of far around like 20 minutes-ish, 20 to 30 minutes-ish if you walk from Chestnut to the campus. Because it's not a college on for like not a UFT college. It's a hotel, an old hotel that UFT uses. So mm -hmm. it's not on campus and you're gonna have to walk. But I chose it anyway because I have my own washroom. I think that's it for our questions. And that will be it for this video. If you like our video, please like our video. And um, <laughs> yeah. subscribe. Give Comment us down below. some support and um, we'll be returning this channel back to Savannah soon, but we're taking over for now. Yeah. Yes, okay, bye. Bye.